Hello beautiful feet companions. A beautiful feet companion is someone wanting to walk in the presence of Jesus, follow his presence together with at least one other person to be a blessing in the city and to make disciples of nations. And God chooses to use ordinary saints to be a blessing, to pray and to point people to Jesus and his way of life. And then to see the Holy Spirit work in them as they begin to learn to do the same. I have some tools to consider. First of all, if you find a friend who would like to read the Bible with you, you can take one of these with, with asking them to commit to meet on a regular basis to understand Jesus and what he's done for them and how to live his way of life. We have other versions of that, and one of them is this New Beginnings Bible. Great little gift to pass on to people. What's that all about? As people open the story and the word, and there are different versions that you can use, it's about helping people to encounter Jesus. We want them to meet Jesus. This is a simple book with some stories of Jesus. Each chapter is a story working through his life, Meet Jesus, and some questions. What we do in a small group is to read this story, it's very simplified, and then we take another version of the Bible and to read it so it sinks in uh, as truth. And then we have somebody, again, retell it in a way that we can ensure that we've understood the story, then we have a conversation about what we learn and who we can share that story with. So beautiful feet companions need resources to help us keep walking, keep seeking the presence of God, keep learning together, and to keep looking for those people of peace and peacemakers. Some simple cards have been provided by the Global Harvest and what Jesus said in red, a question. What is a disciple maker? Well, turn the back, has a few simple points of what a disciple maker is. Point people to Jesus, read the word, care for people, pray, and see them come to faith and be baptized and to follow him too. So a disciple maker prays, blesses people, and then points them to Jesus in his way of life so that by grace, they learn to receive the gift of salvation and begin walking with him. At the heart of that is a prayer strategy as you find one of a friend, begin to walk a neighborhood or a particular sphere of influence. Together you will be able to identify people to pray for. Pray for those who are lost, who don't yet know Jesus, who are people of peace, who will open the door to their whole community. Pray for those in that neighborhood who know Jesus and can become peacemakers like you to point people to Jesus and be a disciple maker. So prayer walks, develop a, a simple list and commit to daily prayer together and even join Zoom prayers that we have from time to time. As you do that, you want to introduce people to Jesus and one good way to do it as a starter is to learn by memory some of these stories of hope that you could weave into a conversation. These ones here on this card come from the book of Luke and the stories here such as Jesus forgives, Jesus forgives and heals, Jesus heals the sick, Jesus raises the dead, Jesus calms the storm, Jesus heals the demonic man, Jesus feeds the 5,000, Jesus and the rich man, Jesus is God. A little helpful starter as you invite people to join you for a discovery bible study this is the heart of disciple making gathering a group of people together you go on the back you can click a qr code for more resources and to discover some simple patterns of what happens when you gather you're, you're looking back with thanksgiving you're looking up as you look into the word reading it retelling it asking you a few basic questions, and then you look forward to following obedience, what you learned together, and also to go fishing 
to see if there's somebody else who is a person of peace who would like to hear a story of hope and to follow Jesus. You have times of prayer and worship and what do we discover about God? What do we discover about people? What does Jesus say to us uh, through uh, this uh, particular study that we're doing? And a great way to start is by using those nine stories of hope. So these are some tools, Global Harvest and what Jesus said in red. Remember that beautiful feet are a spiritually organic movement of people walking in the river of God's grace to see ripples of grace in every home to release God's glory as people turn to him and he discover his light, know his life and walk because they are loved to bless others with his love. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, give me a call uh, if you would like to have some of this material. Bit of a longer video today for those that are walking in their neighborhoods to bless the city and to do that with the beautiful feet of those who follow the presence of Jesus everywhere. God uses ordinary people for his glory. Let's trust him for some miracles in the days and weeks ahead. Contact me on my email mike.hay at om.org or phone 0425-838-534. Thank you.